And a good afternoon. It is Tuesday on the Perspective Shifters, and our guest today is all the way from, I just lost it, Sydney? We're not Sydney. Where are we? Melbourne. <laughs> Melbourne. Yeah, she's on the side right now. We're going to pull her in. But we are going to be talking about how to create your clients instead of get your clients today. And I love that title. And she's going to be on here shortly with us. She's sharing us out to her friends and family. And we're going to get some people on talking with us. But this is the Perspective Shifters. This is where we talk about all kinds of things that are hot topics and pain points and things that we don't always bring to the surface. We try to shove them under the rug instead. Um, and we're going to talk about those things today on the Perspective Shifters. As if, if this is something that interests you and you'd like to be a guest, make sure you reach out to me. Also, as you guys are coming on live, make sure you say hi. We'll give you a little shout out. And I'm Erin Strayer. I am an accelerated business strategist and growth consultant, and I like to combine energy and strategy together to create those clear focus program alignments for you. We are bringing on our guest today, and she is going to be right here next to me. There she is. This is Susan Young, and she is an amazing, most brilliant founder and owner of 196.co, which is an amazing website. You got to go check it out. And she <laughs> loves to combine all things physical, metaphysical, pulling in energy. There's no cookie cutter about this girl either. She lines right up with everything that I do. Um, I love pulling people forward like her that are strong, foot forward women in our world. So Anyways, hello, Susan. Oh, hi, Erin. How are you? Hey, I am great. I'm going to go <laughs> share this out to our people while sure, you're sure. talking. And um, I thought I muted myself over here. <laughs> so how That's are you today? Are you doing good? We're going to be talking about all kinds of cool things today. Yeah, I'm doing really well. Thank you. Yes, and thanks for having me on. I'm super excited to be here. Yeah, I'm super glad to have you. And um, we're going to get into the nitty gritty of you, but you move back and forth. You got, you're kind of like co-located, right? Like yeah. So I'm um, what they call the term, the digital nomad, you know, so I kind of, God, I love that. <laughs> you cool have a business that you can just pick up and take wherever you want. Absolutely. Which was the purpose of building my business like that so that I could travel. And although my home is Melbourne and of course I have a Scottish accent because I'm originally from Scotland. I'm in Scotland at the moment. Um, this year I've managed to travel to eight countries which is fantastic and wow. work at the same time. So that's pretty cool, right? Yeah, we can do that. Keep it coming. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's so cool. And so you're you're in Scotland right now. And mm -hmm. um, one of the cool things that I love about you is that all the things that you believe in, and it's listed on your, your website, and I absolutely loved every piece of it, is that you love connecting, you love being yourself and uncovering exactly who you are. And yeah. you've like taken all of these facets of things that you love and things that you believe in and like dropped them right into your business. Exactly, absolutely, which yeah. is what, a, yeah. Um, you know, when we really understand who we are and all of the things that have brought us into the moment that we're in right now, we can use and leverage all of our experience and all of our knowledge and put it into what we want to run as a business. It doesn't mean that you have to do everything, but, um, you know, you can get to the, the real core of who you are yeah. uh, when you look at, you know, all of the things that you've done, which is um, really what I teach, actually. So, yeah. So... That's really super interesting to me, and I love that. I know we chatted a little bit off camera prior to, hi guys, hi Mel, hi Jackie, thanks for joining us. Um, I know we chatted off camera a little bit prior to hopping on here, um, and I dropped the word cookie cutter in yeah. there, and you're like, oh yeah, no, that's not me. <laughs> no. no cookie cutters, where, where, where I come from. Right. Um, because it's so it's so easy. This is what where we get into, right? Comparisonitis, because it's so easy to do. It's so easy to have a look at what everyone else is doing and feel like that's what we should be doing too. So ending up going down a path of being misaligned and incongruent 
with the truth of, of, of our being and then finding ourselves in either work or careers or businesses that we actually don't enjoy and wonder how on earth it happened. And it happened because we're absolutely misaligned and believing that we should be something else rather than being in our truth and who we really, really are. It's not always easy to unravel that part, though. But uh, yeah. And that's that's, um, you know, finding that out takes some digging. It sure does. You have to want to do the inner work to do right? the digging. Yeah, the digging, the digging that it takes to get there. And that's that's all part of the program that you you take your clients through. So Absolutely. we talked about this off camera, too, as far as you are a branding expert, but branding, let's go there yeah. for all of our people. Right. Because branding is so much more. Yes. Than colors and being pretty mm -hmm. and right. It's so much more than a logo and colors. That's so right. Let's talk about that for a second. Let's sure. or make more than a second. We have more a than a second, probably. Um, <laughs> you just have to stop me at some point. Yeah, so when I when I started my business, I um, understood at the time that you know if we're we're going to create a business, we do need to we 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 like to have the assets. So the digital assets or the the logo, the website. Um, brochures, all of the business cards, the things that actually make our business look real. However, as a, pers as a person within that business, we actually have a personal brand and we take ownership of that. And I want to just say this here. There is a lot of people that believe that personal branding is how you dress, which is actually not all of what it is. Personal branding is a small part. Um, well, dressing is a small part of your whole personal brand. Your personal brand is who you are the message that you deliver and the promise that you keep to deliver that message, right? And when it comes to creating any kind of business, whether you want to be the, um, you know, empire builder, it always starts with you. It always starts with, you know, you developing the business, you creating the clients and the connections, you making it into, you know, whatever it is, and you are the face of that business until it becomes, you know, half a million dollar business, two million dollar business and so on and so forth. Right. You are the business, which makes you the personal brand, which means that just that logo and that website is not enough to tell a story of who you really are. Yeah. Yeah. So when it comes to branding, I'm all about really digging into, you know, what made us do this in the first place? What's brought us here to this moment? And what is it that's underlying? in terms of our soul mission that wants us to keep going. And yeah, I like that. Your brand is radical truth. Thanks, Raquel. It totally is. No, um, yeah. yeah. Um, and when you're in alignment with who you are and your brand and you know whatever that looks like for you, then um, you can stay the course in business. That's, that's what the radical truth is because you won't stay the course in business if you're not connected to your internal vision, values, mission, and what it is that your soul is calling you for to do. Yeah. So how do you stay connected? You you just dropped that little nugget there of a uh, mm -hmm. little tip to stay. You have to stay connected to your soul mission. So how do you do that? Really good question. <laughs> Here's a really interesting thing, because we're all different types, right? We all have different ways of being able to get connected to who we are. So my own process might be useful for someone, but it, you know, it could be totally different for anyone else. So the way that I stay connected is, first of all, recognize what my mission is and what my true desires are and how I want to feel every single day. I have a daily practice. My daily practice consists of meditation, journaling, some yoga sometimes, not every day because, you know, I get lazy like I'm human. Um, but when I feel like I'm frustrated or if feel, things feel overwhelming or if I feel like I'm constricted in some way, then I know that I'm not aligned. So I'll go back to my practice. And I use a thing that I learned um, with the Institute of, for Intuitive Intelligence, which is called Heart Coherence. It's part of what Heart, heart Math also teach. And Heart Coherence is a really beautiful little gratefulness practice that brings you back to yourself. And 
So that's that's how I stay aligned and stay in my truth is by coming back to universe self, source self, whatever you want to call it, and listening to my intuition. I love that. I know Raquel came on here and she's like, commit to consistency. And that's that's huge too, Raquel. I agree a hundred percent. And it's um, yeah. um that's it's an for me, I know it's an ongoing practice because like you said, we get lazy you know, our lives change for whatever Christmas comes on and you're not in your normal, your normal schedule of events through the day, right? Things yeah. fall off. You miss your exercise. You miss your meditation one day, whatever. Right. Mm. And then you yeah. get that, that wonky feeling like something, what's wrong, right? Yeah. Like what happened? What's wrong? And all it takes is literally, you know, a minute or two minutes to put your hand over your heart and bring yourself back to presence and realize where you are and what it is that you're here for. Yeah. And, you know, have a bit of a focus on what it is that you're intending to do and forget about the noise and all of the shoots and what everybody else is up to. And yeah, and you know, Raquel, daily fresh starts and fresh ideas. Absolutely, because when we take inspired action after we've been in a quiet present state, then we know that we are in alignment. And that's when the best, that's when the best stuff happens. Not when you have a great idea and then decide to do it, you know, at four o'clock in the afternoon, if you've had the great right. idea at one. Right. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, Go ahead. Well, what I was going to say on that is really tuning in and listening to your intuition, you know, that and, and taking that aligned um, action. So that's you using your feminine side and your masculine side beautifully together to do what it is that you're you're here to do. Yeah. You know, and it, it's funny because um, for a long time, I ignored my feminine side. Mm, me too. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like I just had to be so strong and so forward and so to be heard or be seen or, you know, my, my career prior was in a man's world. So mm. you have to be able to compete there. Right. Yeah. And yeah. so I ignored that feminine side that, that goddess side for so long, you know, the grace that comes mm -hmm. along with that and identifying with that. And um, it's really interesting when you, when I tapped into that, and it's only been recently, like how that shift happens and what, like what goes forward from sure. tapping into that. Yeah. Yeah. So um, what are your key things that you really, really focus on? And it's all over, um, you know, your Facebook pages, your business mm -hmm. page, your website is all about creating clients instead yeah. of, I'm going to get me some clients. Yeah, we don't get clients. We create I'm them. Get clients. I got to get me some clients. Yeah. yeah. So every conversation that I have with a new client or a new prospect or someone that comes into my world, the biggest problem that they all have is I need more clients. I need to make more money or, you know, and it doesn't matter what level of business that you're at. You know, there's a, this constant problem. You know, how do I get more clients? And <laughs> like you don't get them, you create them. So here's what you have to do. Now, I'm just going to take you a little step back, though, into my masculine world of where I learned this process, because it's actually really like, um, it's really interesting. And I had a massive epiphany around it not that long ago. And I was like, oh my God, everybody needs to know how to do this. So I was a recruitment consultant for many years. I worked with IT, in, in the IT industry, very specific in a niche um, with Microsoft developers. And I developed my business and my recruitment desk for a particular company um, by being like an an inch wide, mile deep in my particular niche. And the way that I created that business was by going out and creating connections, making friends, getting other people to get talking about me and bringing them to me, right? So it's no different in the world that we're in now. And what we're doing, what we're trying to do online is create funnels, create systems, create all of these different ways so we can automate our businesses and, you know, have that life where you know we can sort of sit back and have cocktails on the beach and the thing is though what what i found in that and i've been doing business online since 2009 the the best clients i've ever found are the ones that i've created a connection with provided them lots and lots of help 
given them lots and lots of value, started conversations, followed up to see how they're going with the thing. And I can guarantee you they've always come back and said to me, hey, how can I work with you? Yeah. I've never had to ask for a sale. Never. Yeah. Never. Yeah. So that's that's all it is. It's actually that simple. But here's the thing. Most people are afraid to even start a conversation or don't know how to provide the value that's required. Yeah. 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 Provide the so, value. Yeah. yeah. And, you know, I had a little bit of a problem with this for a while because, you know, I'd be creating content, putting blog posts out there and all that kind of stuff. And, uh, you know, I'm all about inspiring people. But was that the value? Was that what my ideal clients were looking for? And as soon as I, you know, made that little shift into helping them, boom, everything changed, right? Yeah. And it's, it's so simple. It's so simple. It's actually funny. It's that simple. Um, you were going to ask me a question. Yeah, provide value. Yeah. Number one, um, all the way. I um, I feel that so often we're, we are stuck in the perfectionism mm. also. Do, yeah. I mean, do you agree with that? Like, oh, I don't know if I want to put that out there yet. That value isn't, isn't complete. Yeah. I don't so, really like something about it. I yeah. don't know. Right. Yeah. And that's just fear. You know, per perfectionism is just fear. Everything that we do that gets us stuck is just fear. And the only thing that we really fear is change because we don't know what it's going to feel like to be that person that runs that program or does that sales call or does that next thing. Um, and, you know, whatever fear that we have, however it shows up for you, is all about change. That's what it is. So when we can realize that, then what we need to do is um, recognize that if we're not putting out our offers, if we're not putting out, you know, whatever it is that we're doing, then we're not being of service. Yeah. And that's what we're here to do, right? We're all here to be of service to one another and help each other. And as soon as you move back into that mode of service and an attitude of providing help, um, then you're being of service every single day. It actually makes things really easy because you feel fulfilled, you feel like you're contributing and you know, you can't outgive the universe. So the universe gives you everything back. Yeah. I love that. I love that. And um, let's just stick on that last comment for a second, as far as what you put out there yeah. and that the universe actually wants to give it to you. Of course. Yeah. yeah. So do you, in your, you said you had a morning practice. Yes. Did you incorporate that into your morning practice at all as far as part of your Intention. journaling part of yes. your you know hey universe why do i have all my ideal clients i want and more or yeah <laughs> yeah so what i do actually in my daily practice i have um so i have a system it's called the language of style and the language of soul so i use two words and the two word process are what are what are going to be my anchor words for the day so how do I want to feel by the end of the day? So those two anchor words around the style. So what am I choosing to wear? How is that going to make me feel? Is it going to make me feel like these two words by the end of the day? And what are the soul words that I need to connect into to keep me um, on my mission and what it is that I need to um, come up with in terms of, you know, ideas? In other words, you know, how can I serve today? What's the best way for me to serve today? Yeah. yeah. I'll give you a really good example of this. Yeah. So last week um, I asked that very question and I was given the answer, you need to do a live call and help people how to do this. And so I did that, I posted it in a group, I got 99 people sign up for that, right? Boom. So that just shows you when you take aligned inspired action, what can happen straight away, yeah? yeah. Um, so that's where that came from. And the, the whole part of my process in the morning is making sure that I've done a meditation, some heart coherence, chosen my words for the day. How do I actually really want to feel? And then, you know, if monkey mind comes along halfway, halfway through the day, I've got my ankle words just to pull myself back. Um, and yeah, that keeps me, that keeps me on track. Yeah. So like, what's an example of an anchor word? Connected, um, happy, joyful, peaceful, um 
on fire, on fire is two words, but you know what I mean, sexy, you know, and they want to feel sexy today. Um, and it could be, I want to stay in alignment. I want to stay congruent. I want to stay consistent. Yeah, I want to be focused today. Like if you know that you've got a lot of work to do and before you even start, you're starting to get into overwhelm because you're thinking about that giant to-do list that's got to be done. You know, yeah. what am I committing to today? I'm going to stay focused. Yeah, let's do this. Let's go. Now, what can happen, though, in meditation or in your practice, other ideas might come up that go, actually, no, that's not what you're supposed to be doing today. Go and do this instead, which can produce, if you trust your intuition, amazing results. But that trust is sometimes very difficult to trust, right? Because ego gets in the way and goes, no, 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 you're supposed to be doing this. Right? Um, yeah. 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 And and that's a whole practice. That's a whole nother conversation, how to figure out the difference between, you know, your intuition and your ego talking. Mm -hmm. That's a whole nother conversation right there. So creating clients yeah. starts with your morning practice. Absolutely. That is your day. Having your anchor words yeah. as you go through your day. And then what? I'm going to give you a little thing that I do with my my clients. So what yeah. we do is we go into the um, the matrix, into the holographic realm of the universe. And if you have an ideal client avatar, what we do is then we create that as a person who will then come to you and have a conversation with you. So we have a conversation with our ideal client around what's the biggest thing that you need help with today, and you get the answer. And that's where I will create then any kind of... Um, content or any pieces of value based around the conversation that I'm having with my invisible friend. Yeah. <laughs> um, now, let me tell you another really cool thing about creating invisible friends in the holographic realm is that they actually become real because they do become your clients, right? So if you have an imaginary friend and then really get into who they are and start seeing them, I know it sounds crazy and wacky and all the rest of it, but it totally works. Um, then they will appear. And sometimes they will appear like within five minutes, you know, someone will send you a message and go, hey, and there you have, you know, the person that you've created in the, the realm of who you want to work with that day. Yeah. Yeah. So you can choose not to answer this if you want to. <laughs> <laughs> um, because for me, um, I know exactly what I don't want Yeah. as far as a client. And mm -hmm. I've gone through that exercise many times. Um, but then I realized that every time I focus on what I don't want, that's what goes out to the universe. And that's what they, right? So it's not attracting what I want. Yeah. Does that make sense to our people out there that are listening? <laughs> yeah. So what you got to do is figure out what you, do, what you do really want. Who do you really want to be spending your time with? It's yeah. kind of like if you decided that you weren't going to work in business anymore and you were going to go and get a job, right? Yeah. Now, if you were going to go and get a job, you would want to look at who the person is that's managing you, what the team's like, what the location's like, what's the building look like, you know, all of those things that we, we desire in terms of what we're looking for. It's no different in business, right? So whoever you want to be spending your days with, that's who we are creating. And... You know, if you if you think about what you don't want, you're going to get what you don't want. So you've got to think about what you do want. And that is I want to spend time with women who are um, on on fire, who are creating amazing things. They're changing the world. They've got visions. They've, they're already making an impact, but they want to do more and they want to deepen their practices. They want to be more of themselves. They want to release all of the stuff, all of the expectations that they've been given and really come back to the beauty of who they are, collaborate with other women, give back, do beautiful things every single day. So, you know, if you're thinking like that, you're going to get that. Yeah. yeah. Raquel says we get what we think about most of the time. And I'm going to like um, just seal that for you, Raquel. What we focus on grows. Mm. Absolutely. Period. Period. <laughs> yeah. Hard stop on that one. What we focus on grows. And um, I couldn't agree more with putting out exactly what you want instead of what you don't want. You Absolutely. Want 
And if you can't think about that, you know, what you've got to do is put yourself in a place where you remind yourself of what you're grateful for so you can feel abundance, feel that joy, you know, have a look around you and see what you already have. And, you know, be really, really simple about your practice and not have too much expectation about any kind of outcome that you, you know, because when you release yourself from the outcome and keep adding um, to your service, you know, keep doing more um, cool things for other people, as I said before, you can't outgive the universe. It just always comes back to you. Yeah. And, and you know, the universe wants to provide us with that. Yeah, they it's the law, right? It's it the law of vibration. Yeah. yeah. And, and it's, it's so cool because every time it, uh, it, the universe provides us with what we want, what happens? Our, our vibration goes up, right? Yeah. And that, that magnetic pull gets stronger and stronger and stronger, right? Exactly. For the other people that are just like that one and poof, here you go. Yeah. Exactly. So, you know, you can, you can test this out, right? If you want to, I wouldn't recommend testing out like the lower vibration stuff. But, you know, all of us actually do go into lower vibrations all of the time because, you know, we get caught up in the daily humanness of life, like getting stuff get stuck in traffic or having an argument with your husband or, you know, the kids driving you crazy, whatever. Like that's lower vibrational stuff. And that's kind of normal. But what we've got to remember as well, that we, we can consciously recreate the vibration that we want at any given time. And the way that our minds work, because we're unconscious, most of the day, because we're not focused and consciously creating all day long, that probably about 98% of our day um, is just, you know, on autopilot, yeah, doing what we've always done. So if we make a decision in the morning to consciously create, get focused, be present, and, and decide on our intentions and what it is that we want to do and stay there for as long as we can, then you're going to increase your, your vibration and going to increase the possibility of all that good stuff coming back to you. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. If you guys are uh, loving what she's saying, give us some hearts on the things. Just like explode us with hearts yeah. um, because it's, I know, I know, send it. It like fuels us, right? So um, yeah. I couldn't agree more with, <laughs> you know, your focus and your, uh, the way that you kind of cultivate and, and hone your clients and how to attract and create clientele for them yeah. um, and to cre actually create. I love that instead of get. Um, we're coming down to the end of our time. Sure. I know that like we could talk all day long about this kind of stuff because this, oh, yeah. right <laughs> <laughs> this is right up my alley. This is right up my alley with stuff that I love. Um, do, are, do, are there any programs that you got rolling right now, um, Susan, that you yeah. want to talk about or how people find you or how people, you know, hop on with you or yeah. anything like that? So the easiest way to find me and connect with me is just to hop on my Facebook page, which is facebook.com. I am Susan Young. I do have a pro program that's going to be kicking off in two weeks time just before Christmas. And I know, is it next week? Actually, it might be next week. Um, and it's all about creating creating clients and actually going through this process. If anyone's interested in that, there isn't a sales page for it. There's nothing um, around that you will actually go and find about it. So the, the easiest way, if you would like to know more about it, is get on Messenger with me and I'll walk you through what the process is and if you're actually ready for it. Or if we can, if we can look at something that's going to work for you. Because um, when it comes to programs, and this is a live thing, I actually do the whole process with everyone every single day. So you get into alignment, you, you do your daily practices, you show up and you engage and then you watch what happens. So, you know, I've done it with one of my clients in the last couple of months and he's created 22 new clients into a brand new hypnotherapy business. So beautiful. Yeah. So That's but the beautiful. best way to find me is there or you can always look at my website, which is susanyoung.com.au. Cool. Yeah. Will you drop those links in here when we're done? Yeah. I will. Um. And then I always love asking my guests a, a question at the end of our time together because I, I, I just don't want it to end. However, however, if you were to give your younger self advice, yeah, what would you tell young Susan? Love yourself. You are amazing. You are enough. You are beautiful. And you are absolutely brilliant. And don't believe 
anything that anybody else tells you because you have all the answers. That's what I would tell her. <laughs> I love that. This yeah. is the Susan Young. She's all the way from across the pond with us today. I have <laughs> adored our time together. She is brilliant. She is brilliant with helping you create and your ideal clients and find your ideal clients and then what that looks like pulling forward into the entire picture of who you are. She is brilliant at that. If you guys want to find her, she's going to drop her links in here later um, once we're done. <laughs> and um, we so appreciate all you guys being on live with us. If you're watching the replay after this and you have questions, drop them in the feed. We'll loop back around to that um, when we're done. And I have so loved being on live with you today, Susan. Thank you so much for your time. Likewise, my pleasure. It's been great that you have being here. Thanks, Erin. Awesome. Hang out with me for just a second once we're done. Sure All right, guys. Thanks, everybody. Have a great, great, great afternoon. We'll see you right back here soon.